Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is L.A. Noir. Before we jump in, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump in and see what the next case has to offer, shall we? That's right, we got moved to the vice desk after the last case. Ooh, the Black Caesar. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. A special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay. New boss is kind of a dick. You have some history? You could say that. <clears throat> we used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? Why did you do that? The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, detective. Let's rouse some hop heads. Right. Well, first, um, thanks for the offer of the new outfit, but yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Uh, I don't want to get the Prodrick. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of tempting. I don't know. I, I just like the sort of justice look. I'm gonna try this one out. I'm gonna try how I feel with this. Just as we're gonna try this car out. I nice car, Roy. Is that department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a gnash if you're in vice cold. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Any in the vicinity, officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue, unit to handle code 2 identify. Well, let's see what you're made out of, bud. And let's see what your ride is made out of. That matter. Or did you go for the fancy ride that doesn't have any pickup and go? Yep, this thing still takes a freaking year to break. It's not a good thing considering my driving record, but you know, hey, whatever. I'm sure it'll be all right. Tail gets a little squirrely. It's always a fun time. See if we can't get over here and help this officer need an assistance. Go, go, go! Alright. What does this guy need help with? Avenue, 
This is car 11K. Go ahead with the further. Hmm. Hey, where are you going? Detective Phelps, I got the call for assistance. Who are the suspects? Bank robbers. Same gang that took the Citizens National Trust in savings last month. Was a headshot right there. those shots that was my fault for missing those shots to be honest react gotcha all right and there's still at least one of them got him That was a headshot there at the end, too. So much for that, gang. Nice little shootout. Don't you know it? I think he might be right there. I think it might actually be him. Unexpected to hear that kind of accent in the middle of LA in the 40s. But then again, I mean, people moved to LA trying to make their way into the movies and stuff, so. People from Appalachia are no different than anywhere else, as far as that kind of thing is concerned. Alright, so if I follow this up around here, and then hang a right. I get stuck in a one. Oh, well, thank you for pulling over at least. And I can use it through there. Alright, here we are. Crime scene. They really picked a prize shithole for our first date. I got friends who work at the examiner. It's up the stairs, detective. Bucks? Around the corner, last door on the left. Okay. Last door on the left, he said. I heard this is a triple. I'm all done. Got your show now. Oh boy. Carruthers. Phelps? I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdose, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. 
The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product, and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His hmm. name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants a license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? All right, so what have we got around here? Is this a popcorn cup? Wait. Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Find anything interesting? Wait. Is there anything else? Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Huh. Well, if they're dealing with serrettes, is that how they taped it? Or how they distributed it? Alright. Tyrone Lamont. These clowns lived on popcorn? Another day, another must have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Mm. What's this? Small chance in life is probably better than no chance. I think I've seen it all. Jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. What's this? Some kind of fruit, a bell, and wind. Strange doodle. Gambling? It would kind of make sense. Why are there so many cups around? Another special order from the Caesar. And once again, tape on the bottom. All in my head. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Find anything interesting? Hmm. It's not everything there. We've got an unused one. Street life have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Or preparation. 
Must have been the easiest fix these two ever had. Yeah, right up to the part where it killed them. Usually that's something you try to avoid. Is that around? No, it's not below the bed. Jeez. I mean, it, is it just the same thing over and over again? Another special order from the Caesar. And they all have that tape underneath. enough to knock you out for combat drum but two of them will stop your heart find anything interesting what's this who is JJ and why do these two care about his taste in music 275 FM it's a weird radio station number, but all right. They say only the good die young. I hope yeah, it was true in your case. Dude's 21 years old. So the emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Hmm. Another day, another dollar. Very interesting indeed. But we're not even bothering with the car, huh? Is the place literally across the street? Right. Let's wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. This place. Oh, right there. Interesting. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. He uh, worked that case with the lady that got cut up. Like the dog. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Get that son of a bitch. You could have just ordered a thing of popcorn and while sitting that way. Stay on him. 
Don't get too close. If you get too close, he's gonna kick you in the head. It's nice chase music, though. Kind of jazzy. Go for it, Phelps. There you go, combat roll. And again, parkour, parkour. Where you going, boy? Nice. Dude, why does everybody think they're going to be able to run away from me? Of course. There's a headbutt for you. Oh no, you you actually still got some in you, huh? Oh! Asshole, you're only making it worse. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep Fleetwood. an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. <laughs> Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Yeah. Might just. It should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Jermaine Jones. Give us something on this Jones character. JJ Jermaine Jones doesn't give me anything to go on. Hmm. Okay. That gives us part of the puzzle. What's the other part though? Oh, hello. satisfying half grain per 1.5 cc sterile needle poison solution of morphine tartrate maybe habit forming and he's got quite a bit of it in there too it's hmm. about time we heard what Cleveland here has to say Cole. to be fair I didn't fully yeah, okay. That's what I figured. I think that's everything, right? Hang on. Did I already tie together the fact that this JJ thing is what it's supposed to be? Right? JJ.
Interesting. Hey, well, there's such a thing as soap, you know. Purely because I have a funny feeling that the uh, interrogation is going to take a little while with Mr. Fleetwood. Um, I'm just going to go on ahead and call it here. Interesting introduction to the Vice world. Not sure what to think of our partner yet. He's he's not as belligerent as Rusty was, but he's not as good as Galloway was. I don't know. We'll have to figure out. We'll have to figure him out as the case goes on. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to see where this case goes from here, like I do, well, subscribe. That way you know when I'm uploading new videos. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember, life does get rough sometimes. So, good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.